It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. The Krups machine has just literally gone green. I was just setting up my camera, thinking if I could be a little bit quicker, I can get the moment where the, the button goes from red to green. So basically, we're fit to go. We're ready to fit another Krups, the subcompact torp to our little machine over here. So today's beer is Paul and a Weiss beer, 5.5% ABV. I'm super, super excited to have this on the Krups. If, you, if you're very quick, if you go over to Beowulf, right now, because I'm posting this video, I'm making this video this morning and I'm posting it the same day. If you get to Beowulf's website, they're currently reduced. They've reduced these down because I think they're slightly short dated, but that's okay. I know my vice beer. I know it's okay that Paul and the vice beer can be slightly short dated and it'll still be okay. Reason being, it's yeast forward beer. It's not, it's not hop forward beer. So it's not reliant on hops for flavor. It's reliant on yeast for flavor. So I really don't mind that short date at all. So I'm just gonna show you how to fit the keg. Then I've already started kind of stripping this down. So what you do, you get, you take the top off the top and you'll get a line, a beer line in each top that you have. Get the line, fit it into the top of the top, like so. And in, in it goes. Yeah, you cut the top of that, didn't you? And there we are, there's your beer line. Open your door on your beer machine. Always find that slightly difficult to get that open. Grab all your top, feed it in from the back. Move your, remove your beer tap, your actual kind of puller handle thing. Chuck that in. Click your line into position. Fit your beer tap. And as quickly as that, you've got draft polliner in your home. So exciting, so, so exciting. <coughs> right, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, I so happen to have a pull in a glass. Um, this came with me back from a Spanish holiday uh, in, a, in a bar in, uh, in Spain. Yeah, this made this way back with me. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pour some out now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, pour a little bit of beer through the line, like so. thing while we're on the subject my beer tap it seems slightly sticky like over time a little bit of beer has gone I've tried cleaning it but it, it's not quite happening I don't know whether it's just overuse of the machine I mean I've had this machine now the best part of two years well over two years now and I mean maybe it's just wear and tear maybe it's just wear and tear but I gotta kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle on the on the tap just to get it to click and turn off otherwise i'm having a continuous stream of beer but for a little 99 pound machine i can live with little issues like that so you've poured some beer through your line you've got a little beer in your beer glass let's knock this back splendid so what you've done you've You've, you've, you've given the machine the best possible opportunity to pour yourself a nice pint off the get-go. You've filled your, your line with beer. There's no kind of like surge of beer shooting down the line. You've already now wetted your glass, which always helps. You've got a green light on your machine and you're ready to pour.
One thing I've just noticed, maybe if you do buy yourself a Paulaner and you have a vice beer glass, bring your machine forward to the edge of the table and get rid of the drip tray. The glass won't go, the glass is way too long to get underneath your little crux machine. So um, hence the reason why I don't have a full pint of beer here. Uh, the reason why I'm so excited about this Vice beer is because it is one of the premium Vice beers in the world, as far as I'm concerned. If I see Paul and her, I get excited. We've just had Christmas. I did a little sneaky shop in Marks and Spencer's. They had Paul and her bottles in there and I cleared the shelf. Took the lot off the shelf. Paul and her Vice beer is one of my favourite Vice beers of all time. So I'm absolutely super excited to have this on the Krups machine. So we've got a two finger foamy head, lovely milky kind of consistency to the beer. Lovely look to the beer, lovely cloudy look to it. Carbonation rolling up the glass. Have a look as I roll that beer around in the glass. Look at the quality of this brew then. Let's get the aroma. Banana, clove, spice, and not an absolute hint that this beer is short dated. Not a hint. If I can save you guys a couple of quid in the month of January by you nipping over to Beerwolf and picking up some of these reduced polliners, then hopefully happy days. You can give me a little thanks in the in the comments box below. I'm going to dive in. This smells delightful. Cheers. I'm going to drink this stuff from evening to lunchtime to morning. It's about 9am here in the UK. You'll be watching this by 11am in the morning. Two hours after I've enjoyed this pint. But it doesn't matter what time of day for me. That I get a Paul and a like this and enjoy a Paul and a vice beer. Because it just doesn't matter. Paul and a for breakfast. Absolutely wonderful. It's got a really lovely kind of creamy consistency to it. Banana and clove is coming through. If I'm going to be slightly critical, and that it's almost like a, it's a bit of an issue really, is that the, the beer's a little bit too cold for my liking. I'm not picking up as much as I would expect if the beer was slightly warmer. That's all science. That's like a chemical reaction when you cool a beer down more than you really should. Like three degrees this is being cooled down to in the Krebs machine. You lose a little bit of flavour. So in essence I would probably pour this and leave it 15 minutes on the side of my bar. Let it warm up a bit just to get a little bit more of that flavour. That would be my small criticism. Other than that, this beer is utterly delightful. Spicy, peppery, clove, banana, spices. I've said spices twice. Malty, biscuity, slightly hoppy on the back end and bitter. Great lacing on the glass. I love it. It's one of my favourite vice beers of all time. I'm going to rate it. How is this on the Krups then? Keg, draft, pull and a vice beer. My keg was reduced down to about nine pounds. You get about just under four pints for the nine pound. About four pints, so that's, you're talking, let's do the maths. Three, six, nine, no, it's not three pound a pint, is it? Two, four, six, eight, no, it's a little bit more than two quid. What is it, two pound twenty-five, if I'm doing the maths? Two pound twenty-five, eight, it's about two pound, two pound thirty, something like that a pint. For keg Paulina, which you'd expect to get in Germany at this price, 
£2.30. It's incredible. Well worth it. Love it. Rate it. I really like that. I really, really like that. I like it enough to give it. I'm going to take one mark away because I think it's slightly too cold. But other than that, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!